Hi, everybody. I got to adjust my um, my recliner. I got this, this recliner that has heated seats for your back and vibration. vibration. It's all good. We got like a, a health spa when they're at home. <laughs> Anyways, this is Dr. Shirley. Welcome to this Saturday edition of um, Make My People Laugh. Uh, it is 324 on the spot. So, I try. I, I I always want to try to do Saturday spots, but you know Saturday is always up for grabs. Anyways, I I just had this um, random thing happen today, and I thought it was it's this is TikTokable, right? It's TikTokable. So that's a new a new phrase for talking on TikTok, right? So um, I my, my oldest son, he's about forty two years old, and. Uh, you know, I finally was able to get a hold of him and on Saturdays. He did the boys of the park. He's a tech person, right? And, um, you know, they're always doing things on the phone because they work from home. And uh, and so um, right now he's he's in between jobs. Um, and he is, his, his, his phone was on auto dial, all right, auto dial while he was at the park. And uh, he, he was like... <laughs> He was talking to me on the way to the park. His wife was driving. My daughter-in-law was driving. And then when they got to their destination, he's like, oh my, okay, Mom, I got to go. I got to go. And Junior, they have two boys. They're like football players at their age, um, three and one. <laughs> um, I got to go. The boys are here. You know, and uh, so he, he gets the most, he, he gets the one that's most rambunctious as Junior, you know, that's Junior. That's his oldest son. And uh, anyways, I'm like, okay, have a beautiful time at the park, all right? And then about 15 minutes later, actually five minutes later, I get this call from him. But I'm hearing some play, you know, I'm hearing them playing in the background. And I'm like, John, John, this is your mother. You know, what's going on? And I thought he wanted to have Junior talk to me because Junior's starting to talk. And all of a sudden it was like, okay, they don't even know that I'm doing this. And I I, I automatically thought of the commercial where uh, the person's riding a motorcycle. He's got the cell phone in the back. And this um, somebody, you know, a remote secretary's talking about, she automatically thinks she's hearing the sound of a um the motorcycle, but you know, probably sounded like something else. <laughs> and then she realized it was a butt call. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, and, and then every time I saw that, I'm like, gee, I mean, doesn't that guy think, you know, I mean, what is that, what is that secretary really thinking when they hear the sound when she's saying the butt call? Was it, was it something else? <laughs> was it butt gas? So, um, so I'm I'm wondering the same thing. Like, where is this pocket? Where, where is this phone? Is it in the pocket? Is it you know in the jacket? Jacket or is, he doesn't even know this. And and this is right now. It's steering all kinds of concern for me. You know the grandmother and you know I'm like me and my husband wondering. Does Junior have the phone? Is Junior doing this? But I'm like no, Junior's playing. So so I'm like I just hang up. They don't even know. They don't even know that they this is happening. In about five more minutes. Another five more minutes comes and go, uh, and I, I'm getting another call again. I'm like, well, maybe he realized that it was a buck call, and he'll, he's going to apologize again. I'm hearing background, um, you know, chattering, and they're all having a great time in the park, and uh, you know, they're giving kudos to their children and to my grandchildren. And I'm thinking, well, geez, this is God's way. It's, this must be God's way of just having me there in the park. <laughs> So I'm like holding on, thinking he's gonna answer any minute. Like if I get really loud enough, like like I I did when they were younger, if they weren't listening to me, it's it was like the phone was just playing tricks with me, like the enemy was using his phone. So I'm like, hello, and my voice is getting. I'm like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna contend with this. So um, I know that there are, he's his life is busy, and he's he lives about an hour and uh, 15 minutes from us. But if he wants to talk to talk to me and have a greater conversation and include me there at the park, hey, I'm all for it. But if, this this is ridiculous. So <laughs> again, I'm like I'm hanging up because I was in the middle of doing something. It was like every time I was in the middle of doing something, on my end of it, like 
my next my my Saturday tasks, you know, which is was a lot of things on the phone because I I I'm in this virtual um, space, you know, for prayer and. You know, then I'm doing something with the media and, you know, making sure it goes in the whatever I produce it through digital media. It's, it's on the various platforms. Just making sure I, I, I used all my, you know, I crossed all my T's and dotted my I's. So I'm, I'm just sitting there and doing my stuff and I get another call, you know. And then I'm like, okay, I just know that. I'm like, hello, hello, hello. And then I'm hitting it again. And this time, and this time, it was like, as soon as I hit it, it got, I get a call again, and again, and again, and again. By this time, it's like 15 calls. So I'm texting him. I'm texting him back. And I'm like, and then I'm in the middle of texting. I get another call. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is, this is something else. So instead of me, like, stressing, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking okay, all right. He is a former... Um, you know, tech person. He did a load of a lot of code calling, and for some reason, he put my number in the code calling contact list. And now his phone is wanting to pester me to death. You know, it's like, you know, it's like, what, what is going on? But um, I, I would, I would remember how certain numbers would, you know, keep calling me until, until I wait long enough for the person to come on. And then all of a sudden they want to sell you solar panels and you don't even own a house. <laughs> you know? It's like, well, I have to, uh, maybe I need to run it by the lease manager's office. And I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, I should become a Karen. Said Dr. Shirley, just tell the lease manager. We're like, I get, I get these solar panel people, expert people calling me so we can effectively use, uh, you know, our electricity and everything. And, and you know when why how come this place doesn't have solar panels you know we we got to get with it we got to get with the times <laughs> everybody's walking the dog they have you know these you know the, the, you know the, they're they're on a lease they have to clean the poop and everything else because they have to sometimes I see the bags there with the poop in it um, and um, they got to pick those up and they got to throw those away <laughs> you know and and and, and they do the they they upkeep the lawns and everything but why. Uh, why is there not a solar panel? I, I, I ask myself that every time I get those calls, those robocalls. And then I tell them, I tell the robocall people that are doing this. When it, and it sounds like, oh, what, oh, oh gosh. I tell them this and then I, I cancel their, um, you know, I block their number so they don't call again. But I'm nice about it at the beginning. I'm like, we are not homeowners. I wish we were. But, you know, you're just going to um, can't call us anymore. We 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 don't we 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 don't we can't we can't afford it or we just are not those people, and so uh, I'll I'll uh, block their number and then I'll get somebody else. It's, it's like a phone tree. I'll get somebody else, another robocaller person. One time, recently, I believe it was yesterday. I'm on my way out. This is when they when they call. It's almost like they sense that you're on your your way out of the house to do out of the house errands. Never mind the phone errands, right? So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm sitting back. Uh, I mean, I'm about ready to get out of the house. And I get this call. And the call, uh, you know, I'm, I'm listening to them. I give them the, benef the, the respect and the benefit of listening to what they have to say. And it was a, a solar panel call, you know. But it was, it was, it was, they just kept talking. And they asked me a question, and I was about to get ready to answer. And with, they didn't even wait for my answer. They just kept talking. And I think that that's a kind of robocall. That, uh, <laughs> that it's like an automated robocall. Like, it's a, you know, it's computer generated, generated or recorded already. And it, 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 they don't, they don't, they just want, they're just waiting for a human being to pick up, to activate, to activate it. So I thought, wow. So I was starting to get nervy about that when when, my, when this was happening between me and my son. <laughs> but it was it was okay. It was fun. And I, I texted him. He gave me a smiley face. I gave him an emoji. Em, you know, an, em, em, is it an emoji? Yeah. Emoji. Emoji. And um, smiley face with laughing tears. And he said, oh, and he did the same too because he has the same sense of humor as I do. But I, I was I kind of like gave him the script of what was going. I decided to laugh, and he said, "Oh, I'm so sorry, Mom. What's your story about robocalls? Let me know." <laughs> 
I think this is something that everybody goes through. Have a nice day. God bless.